to the 2024 Paralympic Games here in Paris. You join us at the North Paris Arena, and it is now time for the women's gold medal match in the sitting volleyball. All the teams competed for one medal here to stand top of the podium. And making their way in this match is the People's Republic of China against the USA. Well, this is a match that goes back to history. These, time, these two teams have met each other time and time again. And alongside me, Mark Perkins, I have one of the American team members, three-time Paralympian, Kendra Lancaster Hall with me. Kendra, this game has it all, doesn't it? It does, Mark. It has it all. And these are two incredibly talented, exceptional teams in the women's event. But I would say overall in sitting volleyball, they've met each other. This is their fifth time meeting in the Paralympic final. China have come out on top three times. USA taking gold twice. It's anybody's match today. The five Paralympic Games back to back. And it's been USA and China contesting the gold medal match. And we've got exactly the same thing here now. This is the journey they took. The People's Republic of China defeated Canada to get themselves a spot here, while USA beat Brazil. Bronze medal has been won by Canada. They took down Brazil 3-0. Well, here's how they got there so far. China undefeated. Now, they met each other in the pool stage, the first game of the competition, and it was China winning 3-1. Then they've got on without dropping a set against Italy, France, and Canada, while USA lost that first game, then had a win against France and Italy, and also a semi-final win, but dropping a set to Brazil. Team USA, you know these ladies so well, you know this setup so well. Tell us a bit about their strengths, not necessarily the people, but as a team, as a unit. Yeah, I think as a team, as a unit, there's a couple of things that the USA have working for them. One is their size. They have a lot of really tall girls, a lot of girls with huge reaches at the block. They've also got big attacking offense. They have a couple of the biggest scores in the tournament so far. They have a couple of really, really experienced players. And what about China? These are so well drilled, so highly motivated and skilled. Pick out a couple of players as well if you can. Yeah, I'll do my best because this is a stacked lineup. But China's mega consistent. They're really powerful. Number 10, Xu. She scored 60 points already so far. 47 of those are kills. Also look out for Tong. She's got 47 points, but eight aces. Xu Huben, the head coach, she also has Sheng Yuhong by her side, who is the Paralympian as well. So really, really good advice to be given on the bench. Here's their journey, as I mentioned before, 3-1 against USA. They're the only team that have made it undefeated here so far. So far. We'll see what happens today. But only dropping that one set in the first game. Now you know this lot. Pick out a couple here if you can. Who do you think is going to make a difference for USA against this strong Chinese squad. Yeah, again, really stacked lineup. We have number one, Laura Webster. You can see her, she's chill, she's ready, she's pumped. She is the best blocker in this entire tournament, men or women. She's got plenty of blocks. She's a big presence in the middle. You've also got number six, Heather Erickson. She scored 68 points so far. That puts her at the top of the list. Cool, calm and collected is your head coach for USA, Bill Hamitzer. He'll just stand in the corner, watch the game, and just impart a few words of wisdom onto his team. Well, they are looking relaxed, but they've come into this game with a loss against the People's Republic of China, but then a 3-0 victory against France and Italy. In the semi-final, it was a 3-1 win against Brazil. They had to up their game. Brazil was strong. But have we seen something in USA that can dominate against China here. Yeah, I think so. I think the USA have peaked at the right time. They're playing at their best. They didn't have a great start, but I think we forget about that and we look at this match here today. Absolutely. All the stats from the history, they can part. Right now, it is 12 players against 12 players, six on court, and those new to City Volleyball will talk about all the nuances of the game very shortly. But it is going to be an absolute battle. You're in the best place watching this game. It's the People's Republic of China against the United States of America. And we're going to start with the national anthems. Nice 
North Paris Arena. Please rise if you are able for the anthem of People's Republic of China. And now the anthem of United States of America. Well, the anthems have been completed here. This is the gold medal match. It's the People's Republic of China against the United States of America. The final formalities now being completed as the two teams meet across the net and shake hands. They've been here time and time again. The head coaches exchanging keepsakes. It's the final time to smile before game faces get put on. And as soon as these six players enter the court, it is time to shine. The People's Republic of China, only one set dropped in this whole competition. They're a team that works so well in unison. They're so well drilled and so fast. Yeah, that's exactly right, Mark. We haven't said much about the People's Republic of China so far, but they are mega consistent. They're one of the best defensive teams in the world. They've been, they've never not been in this Paralympic final, and it cannot be understated how strong this team is. Their record shows it. Let's introduce you to your match officials then. Only Claude Richard is the first referee. She'll be on the far side of the screen, on the other side of the court, as we're looking at it. And Christina Arpas from Hungary is the second referee today. She'll be looking at all things courtside and dealing with the two teams. We'll be bringing you the starting sixes for both teams. Please welcome the team from People's Republic of China. An unchanged side, which not often they do that. Only one game this whole tournament they've made any changes. They go revert back to their strong lineup with Tong Chu Mei coming in, wearing the number one. 47 points in her name. Liu Hongying wears the number two, one of the playmakers in the game. Look out for big powerhouse Wang Yangyan, wearing number seven in her four Paralympics. Alongside her is Zhang Zhufei. The captain wears the number ten, Zhu Zhejiao. And then it is Zhang Lijin. The Libro wears number 16 is Huang Lu. USA make one change from the semi-final, and that's Tier Edwards goes to the bench. Laura Webster in her sixth Paralympics, the best blocker in the competition in both the men's and women's with 17 blocks. Next up there is 
Katie Holloway Bridge, the 38 year old, in her fifth Paralympics, 43 points. Heather Erickson, the top point scorer, is 68 with 48 kills, 12 blocks. The playmaker, the hands who are going to be controlling the game for USA is Kaleo Halahele. And alongside her, making her start here in the final after missing Tokyo with COVID. It's great to see her back. Number 16 is Nikki Nieves. And the Libro is Bethany Zumo, who wears the number two. The Libro, the defense specialist in a different color shirt for China. It's white. And for the USA, it's the blue. We'll talk more about the Libros, the rules, the game here. It's the best of five sets. That's the most important thing to start with. First to 25 on the first four sets. Should we need to go to a fifth set? Then that's going to be a race to 15. This is the women's gold medal match here at the 2024 Paralympic Games. This is USA against the People's Republic of China. We're underway in the gold medal match here at the North Paris Arena. USA in white on the left-hand side, serving against the People's Republic of China in the blue and red on the right-hand side. That's a big block by Heather Erickson, her 13th of the competition, and that's going to settle what nerves USA may have had. Yeah, you can already tell China are moving that ball around. They're going to try and push the U.S. all over that court, but they're big at the net, and China are going to have to find a way to get around those big hands. Hele with the serve. Trying to just roll that one deep. Bridge turning provider here. The captain comes in and squeezes up all through the Great pickup by Hele. And then another big block. Oh, it's still alive. That's not gone down yet. The point carries on. It's a great save. And in the end, it just goes out of play. What a rally. And we're only on point two, Mark. Well, the sports press team thought the ball was down, the crowd were cheering. Defense from both teams, sensational. Absolutely, Seller. You can see how fast both of these teams are. 2 0 for USA. It's big and tight at the net. And China get their first point. That's a big swing from Tong. She really winds up there. She really powered off of that block. Now, Erickson and Webster are both really tall. China's a lot smaller. They're going to start using that block to their advantage. Low step down the line onto Erickson. Little tip for Webster. China spreading it out wide. The captain going high and hard for the hands, but it's a great block from USA. Ricochet is off out of play. Can you just talk us through the rules here about the net touch? Because we'll see some of the players already touching the bottom of the net and the legs going underneath. Yeah, so in sitting volleyball, the well, I guess in standing volleyball, a lot of the line rules have to do with where your feet are placed. But in sitting volleyball, it's all about your hips. So you can see players are allowed to put their feet over that center line. They're allowed to touch the bottom of the net, but it's the top tape of the net is a no-go zone. Any touch, it's an automatic error. It goes to the other team. Oh, it's a great take by China, but then the end, their swing goes into the net. No touch. And USA get the point. Casey Holloway Bridge, the 40. But the 38-year-old in her fifth Paralympics going back to serve. That's Hoss just behind her head. Matthews, the captain. Quick play in the middle. Sharp snap. And Ericsson's got the backhand of that ball up. Somehow flicked it back. Almost incredible save from USA. Yeah, it was a great save. But look at the passing from China. It's so good. It's so disciplined. And they're doing such a good job of finding those holes in the USA block. This is probably their central game plan. Just find the holes, put the ball there. There's another rule to be talking about here because Ericsson has just blocked that serve. Great work from USA. Yeah, blocking the serve adds another layer, layer of strategy to serve receive. You can use the block to funnel the serve to your stronger passers, but equally you can use it to protect your, uh, your weaker passers. And it also gives that server something else to think about when they're on that service line. Zhuzhe Zhao, the captain, doing the damage on the right side. This one just coming over the top of the block of Nicky Nieves. Oh, that's incredible swing from Ericsson and a beautiful set from Carter Hele. Ericsson is one of the best, and you can't give her any more than a couple of inches down that line. She will thread that needle, and she will blast that ball. 
Well, we, at nine points in, I think we've seen everything so far. We're just missing an ace serve, I think. That ball has just gone a bit long from China. The topspin didn't drop in time. Ericsson back to serve the 31-year-old. He served fifth Paralympic Games. Oh, that's a beautiful swing. Wang Yan Yan finds the gap and goes to the corner. Yeah, lovely setting too from Liu. She finds that gap. She wails on it just to the right of that middle block from the USA. China absolutely on a roll. And by one. Bridge from the back line. And she is so dangerous. Front court, back court. You give her some height and time and she'll use every inch of her reach. Yeah, Bridge is doing, she did a great job moving to that ball. It wasn't right to her, but she's really fast. She's really powerful. And she, like you said, she's a threat from all over the court. Let's say Captain Matthews, but she serves it a little bit too tight. And Zhang Lu Jin, she gets one of those blocks from the serve. That's very nonchalant, just one hand as well, wasn't it? Leaning across. Yeah, that was a bit of a gift to China from the USA. I mean, both of these teams, errors have to be to an absolute minimum, which is really hard to do when you're putting that kind of power and speed on this ball. Bridge with a little tip. She's not all about power. That's a lovely shot. You don't arm always, fake as well, isn't it? Yeah, you don't always need a cannon to get a point. Sometimes it's just about finesse. She goes up. She just has to find that empty space on the court. It's a lot of floor for just three or four people to cover. So you have options if you can be that accurate. Yeah, there's on the angle serve. High. And this is what China, you mentioned earlier, are going to have to work so hard on is using the block. Yeah, and they're masters at it. I mean, these two teams have played each other so many times. They know each other inside and out, and China know they're little. They're at a disadvantage when it comes to the net. So they're going to use that block, and they're going to make sure that the USA are absolutely perfect. Short on Zumo. Webster just puts that ball deep central. It might come back to bite them here. But they can't put it away the first time. Webster, force here. On two, big block and out. It's a lovely swing from Shu. Bridge really struggling. Bridge off the block. It's tight. Well, good reactions from China. Almost a giveaway point then. Smart play. Well, we talked about the playmaker. Kaleo Kalahele, and that is so fast, that decision she chose then. She's really fast, Kalahele, and she, she really is a really threatening player. She's the setter, which normally they don't score a lot of points, and she might be little, but she is fierce, and she will put that ball over if you give her the opportunity. A little short pass, ends up being a bump set. Bridge takes over the duty, and Eriksson goes back across the angle, and, well, that is pretty unstoppable. Yeah, look at that wind up, and she's so accurate. China, the Chinese defender there in the front thought it was going out, so she ducked out of the way. She probably was better off just moving into it. Ericsson on five points already in this game. Well, this one tried to sing that ball over on two, but it was a little bit flat. China just struggling a little bit on this serve receive. Yeah, you could totally see what Liu was trying to do. There wasn't a block up. She was just trying to dink that ball over, catch the USA by surprise, but just didn't quite get that ball over. Well, we see the ice packs on the heads of the shoulders. It's hot in here. There's nearly 5,000 spectators in the North Paris Arena. And it's been an explosive first half of the set. USA here in numbers, supporting. Is it going to be a hat trick of gold medals back to back from Rio, Tokyo to Paris? There's a lot of volleyball left to play yet, Mark. I mean, both teams have come out on fire, and I think they start like they mean to continue. Well, if it carries on like this, we are in for an absolute treat. 11 8 USA serving. Nice movement. There's a lift called here. 
Just explain this one to those that are just joining us for the first time about the lift. Yeah, one of the, the key rules in sitting volleyball, of course, it's you're sat on the floor. So when you contact the ball, somewhere between your hips and your shoulders have to be touching the floor. Your torso has to be on the floor. Now, sometimes when you're blocking or even attacking or passing, you can be tempted to come up just a little bit and get that extra centimeter. But if you're in front of that two meter line, it's a no-no and it's going to be an error and point to the other team. Little tip from Ericsson. Set goes out wide, that's a massive block. Bridge alongside Webster, but I think you can tell by the celebration who may have got the finishing touch on that yeah, block. we'll see here. It looks like it was Webster. She's not the best blocker in this tournament for no reason. Now, China are going to keep feeding Shu. She's their biggest hitter. She's really powerful. But what that means is, is that it makes it a little bit easier for the U.S. to anticipate where they're going to send the ball. They can start to cheat their block, and they're able to close just a little bit faster. China are going to have to start tapping into their other offensive players and make the U.S. work a little bit harder. Lu Hongjin trying to use that ball off the block, wiping it. But the block was too good for Webster, and it came off the arms of Wang Yan Yan out of play. USA get back to a four-point lead. That's a good deep serve. That is an incredible angle from the captain. Yeah, she really showing us what she's capable of there. She really took a whack at that ball, and not only that, but it was absolutely picture perfect just nicking that line. Into the middle it goes for the captain, Matthews. Almost bullies away through that ball. Yeah, Matthews is such a strong hitter and she's smart. She can see where the block is. She moves around that. And because the U.S. have such good threats in the middle, that just keeps pulling those Chinese blockers in different directions. It makes it harder for them to know where the ball is going. USA absolutely executing their game plan so far. Nice movement from Ericsson on the defense to start with, and then puts the ball away. I mean, what a line yeah. shot there. Shu was not even facing the right direction. She was able to turn that hand. We'll see here right there. She looked like she was going cross. She dropped that thumb. That ball came out beautifully down that line. 11-14. Trying to know they're chasing this game. Lifting has been called there as to try and get something on the back of this block against Heather Erickson, which not many people tend to do. No, I mean, Heather Erickson is one of the best hitters in this sport. She's been playing since around 2006 since she was 14 years old. This game has been her life, as it is for so many of the athletes on this court, and you can see that. They've been playing for decades, some of these people. USA trying to force that ball deep. It's good recovery from China. And then Zhang Lujun just follows what our captain did with a lovely cross court. China back now, 12-15. And it's an ace serve, the first one of the game for China. Zhang Zhufei, the 40-year-old, known for defensive work, one of the best receivers in the last few World Championships, but also now pressure from the service line. Change up of the serve to Bridge. And any opportunity that she can, she's going to take it, but that's also going to draw the block into her. What does that mean for the American offense at that point? Well, if, if Kanaheli can pose enough of a threat to pull in the blockers, that's going to give her hitters an even better chance. And this offense can run really quickly, which means they're able to outrun China. Wang Yang Yan so fast on the block, on the serve. Human hands behind her back. It was a cool, calm character alongside Bill Hamilton from USA. It's tight on the net. Nieves, well, she had the height advantage, and it was always, as soon as that ball crossed the tape, you know what's going to happen next. Yeah, she was right on top of that. That was great coverage by USA. There's not a whole lot that Liu could do there. She just had to put her hands up and try and reach for it. Nieves back to serve. Nice ball in. Good change of angle. There's no net touch given on the block, and the ball's gone long. Yeah, China are starting to run their offense a little bit faster, trying to outrun the American blockers. You can see Webster struggling to go into the close up with Holloway Bridge there. I just feel that China need to use that cross court angle when that's the case. Nieves at full stretch to her right hand side. 
Shield Depar and Beth Zuma will come on as the Libro. She'll be running the backcourt. Defensive specialist in the blue shirt. She'll have to, first of all, deal with this serve coming in from China. Well, she couldn't manage it that time. There's also comes through the team at the net. Yeah, that was a blast of a serve. It just deflects off of Webster's hands. Zhang means business back there. It's impressive. Second one. Matthews takes it well, but it does clip off the net. One trying to get to the corner. Well, a full stretch. China are now starting to come back. 17-18. And Bill Amateur said, enough's enough for a second. I don't want to see any more of that. Let's just take a break. He's seen something he wants to talk about. Each coach gets two timeouts per set. And here we are in this gold medal match. It's China 17, USA 18. Coaches have had their say. Spectators are doing all they can as well to pass all their energy and support on to these teams. This is the best of the best, competing for the gold medal here at the Paralympic Games in Paris. China, 17, USA, 18. Matthews takes that one nicely. Bridge waits, looks for the touch. It has been given by the line judges have signaled it's a touch. Yeah, it looks like it just nicked the very, very tippy fingertips of Liu. That was really good work from Bridge. Really good discipline holding off of that swing a little bit. Forced out wide to the captain. She uses the hands. Well, this is what we call a held ball here. A lift or a carry it has different phraseologies wherever you are in the world, but her arm is just trapped along the net with the ball, and then it was a push of it up. I mean, let's just talk about that move from Ericsson, though. I don't know how she managed to get herself up off that floor and still get that ball back over the net. The athleticism that we're seeing in addition to the volleyball skill is so impressive. Good watch out from China. Two points in a row, it's just giving the USA that little break point, really, to have a bit of breathing space, but they know nothing safe here. Matthews just rolls that one from the backcourt, can't get a full attack in. Look out for the block here from USA, it's there, back again, second block. Third time for China, high off the hands, and that ball is gone sailing. What a swing from Shu, three in a row, she's such a cannon. Amazing tenacity, really good resilience. She just keeps swinging, not getting rattled at all. And most importantly, that keeps Tong on that service line. So they're going to enjoy that, this tight. Recycle for China. Can they get an attack away? They can. Zumo, nice control. Rolled down by Ericsson. Now we're going to have a, a let. We haven't talked about this one yet. Yeah, yeah the, just describe this to us. The ball has to keep moving on the court. If it gets, if it sits still between two blockers for more than a fraction of a second, that referee is going to call a let ball. There's no point awarded, and it goes back to the same server. Well, good work at the net from USA, thwarting any attack coming from China. They go again. Oh, well, it's an impressive angle, but no touch given. The head coach is asking for it, but nothing there. Yeah, I'm really impressed that Shu managed to get as close to the court as she was. She was out of position. She did really well to reach behind her and try and put some speed behind that ball, but she just didn't have the right angle. On well, a serving sub coming in, Bridge going off, and Emma Sheik comes in for the gold medal match in her second Paralympic Games. And she just fires that one down the line, but it's just wide. Yeah, it's not easy to come in and serve when you've been sat on the bench. Now, Emma Sheik does this quite often, so... She, she normally does a lot better than that, but it's not easy to do. You're cold, you're not really as focused as players are on the, on the court. 
Deep serve trying to catch Matthews out of position. Eriksen gets her hands there, but the block from China. Just been called for a foul on the lift. Nieves comes back from court. Yeah, it's really easy to do when you're when you're blocking in this game. Just trying to reach, get that little bit of extra height. And especially if you're a team like China who's a little bit smaller, they're trying to just give their absolute everything to stop the American attackers. Can they stop this one? They can. Matthews with a shutout block. We've only seen a couple of blocks from China, but we've seen five now from USA. And captain to captain. Yeah, that's brilliant technique by Matthews. She's perfectly in position. She gets those hands just over the top of the net. You don't have to always reach really high, but you have to reach over. Second time out called for China. Now they find themselves down three points. 23-20 with only two left for USA to get to take away the first set. Sands at the North Paris Arena. It is well and truly rocking. Imagine being one of those players courtside now from 6,000 people. Webster looks like she's enjoying her game so far with the serve. It's a nice deep serve. Trying to come and attack down the centre. Got off the touch on the block. That's a great response, especially three down at the back end of the set when you call the timeout to get that first point back. Yeah, and China are in a tough position now. USA just two points away. China need at least five points, four points to, to even get ahead of the US. So, but you never count them out. They're so steady, they're so determined, they're really mentally resilient, and that's exactly what they do. Well, it looked like Bridge was gonna take it, and then in the swoop. Kanahele and just with a gentle little volley, catching that one short on Lu Hongjin. And that's the second one she's placed short at that, in between that one and two position. Yeah, no doubt. They, they see that China are leaving that middle of the court vulnerable. They're pulling back to play defense. They're ready for Kanahele to set it out to a big attacker, and she's taking advantage of that. Set point, Nieves takes it for the first time. Standing celebration for Nikki Nieves. USA strike first in this gold medal match. 25-21. Here's the replay. It's a beautiful play by Nieves. She even does that off the pass. She threads it between the inside of that block and the outside of that corner attacker just finding that perfect little spot to send that ball for a kill. Well, all the frustrations from Tokyo, I think, have just come out of their system on that celebration there. No longer is she frustrated now. She's here playing, and she's just got the winning point in the first set. And it is only the first set. But what a set it's been. 25-21. North Paris Arena, please make some noise for Jack I, These teams are so evenly matched, which is what we love to see. I think... China made a few more errors. They brought the serve, which is great to see. They had a couple of aces. Now the U.S. more consistent, less errors, and that has made all the difference. It's just those few crucial points, but that's all you need. You just need a few points more than the other team. and the highlights of an exhilarating first set that had everything. This is what you want from your gold medal match. A trademark celebration that, isn't it, from Webster? Yeah, she's so celebratory. She brings such a great energy to Team USA. And that's what you really need to get you through these big battles, these big rallies. You need energy. You need to feel that love from your teammates.
Well, the crowd here entertaining. We enjoyed the entertainment provided. Making the noise for these two teams. Well, no change for China. We weren't really expecting any, and we're not expecting any changes coming from USA for the starting lineups. And that is the case. Well, China sat ready to go. Yeah, China, China won't be feeling good coming off of that loss in set one. They are going to have to come out here. They're going to have to find a way again to start using the American block to their advantage, swinging off of high hands, finding those holes in the gaps. If they can do that, they might have a chance here in set two, but the Americans are on fire right now. They're playing hard. They're playing fast. They've got really good energy about them. They're going to be really difficult to topple, I think, in this next set. In the full stages, USA took the first set, 25-21. Does that mean anything now? Here we go, second set underway. USA with the error. China take the first point. With a serve. Combination there with Webster out wide and Bridge in the middle. Nice big block. Quick reactions off the net from China. But USA will come again. Bridge can't put it away. They can't give. The Chinese captain, too many swings. You see how dangerous she can be. No, and it's almost like she's kind of calibrating every time she swings. Oh, that didn't quite work. I'm going to do it a little bit more, a little bit differently next time. But I ha you have to commend the Chinese defense. They put up some amazing digs there, almost right on top of the head of their setter, Liu. That gives her options. Ace uh, for Zhang Lujin. This one's ricocheting off the hand. This time, it's the left finger of the pinky of Laura Webster. And that's enough to deflect it away from Ericsson. Almost a perfect start here for China. 3-0 up. Bridge gets aggressive, gets another chance to have a swing. But she opts to go to Webster. Smart play in the end. Into the block. China forced out wide to the captain. Well, she's managed to squeeze it through the block and to the right side of Matthews, deep at six. Yeah, Xu has come out swinging right between those hands of Kanahele. You can't give her more than a couple of inches. Kanahele straight over quickly on two. The ball was moving too fast to control it. Here she goes out wide to bridge. Great defense again from China. How many times do we say that? And the ball just ricocheting off. There's a hope there more from anything from USA that they got the ball up. We'll see here how hard it went off the block. Yeah, and you can see that the defenders in the back of the court, they were already moving backwards. They were bracing themselves and they it takes a second to kind of stop that momentum and throw your body back forward. They just couldn't quite get there fast enough, but a great swing once again from Shu. Well, Coach Shu Min wanted a response. You said China would be happy going down that first set. Well, they've got a response. They forced USA to really early time out here. They're yet to trouble the scoreboard. China leading by five. On peut partir tous ensemble sur quelque chose qui ferait China, USA, China, USA. Back with the action. The incredible serving here. And pressure from China. Set out wide to the captain, tight angle. You talk about dropping the thumb to make the ball go back across where it's just come from. That is a perfect example. That angle is unreal. So the thing that's difficult here is Shu's shoulder and her body were showing she was going off that block once again, but it's just that slight readjustment of the angle, the angle of her wrist, and that ball went flying at bridge. Oh, nice to touch off the block there, but not given. Zhang Lijin. Basic action from the American block. Well, to pull away. First point of the board, 1 6. 
to rebuild now for USA point at a time. Ericsson shaking ahead, Webster pulling away on the block. There's a lot of appeals from China, nothing being given by any of the Lions people. Mahele with the serve. Cut shot, oh, that's just come out. Webster, Bridge does what she can, and again, that's a massive block. Expect the little tip coming in, it does, Matthews. And Haley's in there so quick, Ericsson goes high and hard off the hands. Once Three again, six. great effort from both teams, but you, Kanahele is one of the players that really makes the big difference for the USA. They've got a lot of big attackers, but they can only be as good as they are because they have a setter that can move that ball all over the court and turn an OK pass into an excellent set. She's so fast around the court, into that position that allows her to be able to do that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nice that little touch there from China. Now I'm just dropping a little bit short. She said, so hard to cover the whole of the court. But these, these two teams make it look easy. Yeah, they absolutely do. And they're making it look a lot easier than it really is. Down the line, the serve goes, but just this long on the baseline. Yeah, these are... China wants to be aggressive on the serve. Yeah, and they have to be aggressive. They know that, and, and they're doing it. They're doing a really good job serving. They're forcing the USA to make those judgments. Rich with the serve, comes off the block. Ericsson tries to cut shots. Webb says, oh, she's full stretch to get that one almost underneath the net. It's going to be tight. Ericsson plays it off the block of China, smart play. So cool and collected when she did that. It looked like it was going to be a big fight, but just a simple flick of the wrist, it ball bounces off the Chinese block and out of bounds. 5-7. Great response so far from USA. Trying to force that ball back on the first time, inviting the attack to come in on, on them. They do get the defense there, and then they get the attack, but it's an error. They keep looking for the referee to give them something, and as a signal on a touch, nothing there. And USA have closed it within one. What a response has been. Yeah, I mean, the USA came out of that last time out not happy to be down by as many points as they were. Now, they knew that it was just a few errors, I think, that, that was getting them where they were. But they came out, they corrected those errors, and they started playing smarter at the net, not allowing the Chinese to tool off of those blocks. Now, the Chinese have been swinging away. They've been doing all the right things. They just have to keep doing that and keep going at those little chinks in the USA defense, finding the holes, finding when the block isn't set quite right. That's going to be the key to them, and they've got to keep swinging from that service line. Well, 6-0 up, China led. And it's now 6-7. Seven, uh, six, seven. six of the last seven points have been won by USA. You can hear the music around around here. This gold medal is definitely a two-horse race. USA or China, who's it going to be? Well, at the minute, nobody knows. It could be a photo finish. Oh, that's a huge block. Cue the celebration from Webster. Webster is so fast at the net. She closes that block almost every time, but more importantly, her hands are in the right position. They're really strong, and when the ball hits them, it just ricochets straight down onto the court. Third block and another error coming in on the attack for China. Well, what a contrast this has been from the start of this set from China. And now all these unforced errors in this third set, sorry, second set. Yeah, volleyball is a game of momentum, and especially at this level, any little amount of energy you can give your team off of a swing, off of a really good dig, or off of a monster block like that, it's going to give you that advantage. Five of the eight points that USA have won have been errors on attacks from China. That's also pressure put on by USA. Yeah, huge amount of pressure. And it also, I think, it's showing us how hard China are trying to get those hands. They're swinging out of bounds, but it's because they're trying to hit the USA block. Well, they weren't sure whether they've got, they kept that ball alive or not from Kanahele. Just catches the thumb, doesn't it, and just ricochets into the net. Yeah, just a bit of an off pass there. Kind of Heli doing her best to get to it. And those happen, especially when you have a team like China hitting the ball at you. Matthews walks that ball in. She comes in on the fake middle attack. 
Ericsson is like an indoor tandem, that one, isn't it? It's just so fast. Ericsson just behind Matthews. Amazing. And what Matthews did there is she came in fast like she was going to swing. That distracted the blockers, and that gave Ericsson that just little bit of time advantage to come in and wail on ultimately an open net. I would love to know how fast that ball went. This one's got the touch. Finally, a little bit of luck, if you call it that, for China. They do get the fingertips, only just. And it goes out of play, they get the point. Well, a scintillating start in the second set for China. Great resilience from USA. In fact, almost to a set that's just 15 points long. China with the block. Yeah, China might be little, but you can't count them out of the blocks. They're correct, they're in position. And if you're hitting anywhere just above that tape, their hands are going to be there. Matthews with a little tip in the middle. It's tight out wide. Ericsson, well, she's the master, isn't she, at that? Her reaction, her speed, but the awareness, her volleyball IQ on court, where to go. Yep, she's right there. She sees the court, she's, and she's tall enough that she can reach up above the net and sort of not grab the ball, but she gets on top of it and shoves it straight down. Little tip down the centre. Nieves catches the leg of the lines person. That ball will definitely be out if it's gone that far wide. Again, slice away across the ball, trying to find the line. Yeah, you can totally see what she was thinking there. She was lining up for that cross court, whips her body around at the last minute, but she just overdid it. 12 10, China. Lead by two. Matthews again in the middle with a little tip. Well, the setter always loves a swing. And Galeo Kanahele has hit that one well. Yeah, she is small, but she is mighty. And she's a great, she's a great setter, but she's also a good hitter in her own right. She just isn't big enough. I think she'll argue with that on that one. Oh, this one's hard off the block and out of play. Yeah, that was a huge swing from Zhang. Some of the hardest hitters we've seen this Paralympics are here in this gold medal match. Thirteen eleven. Bridge. But well, we haven't seen much of Bridge swinging hard in this game. She's got that bit of room off the net that allows her to get in, doesn't it? Yeah, and Katie is physically, she's a big presence on the court. She needs that extra bit of space so that she can really wind up and swing through. She doesn't always get that opportunity, but when she does, man, watch out. Yeah, there's deeper on the five serve. Opportunity for China. Quick thinking from Kanahele. She got the block. The ball was just then almost teetering above the top of the net. Who's going to take it? It was on the right side for her. Yep, not she big did. enough, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say not big enough, period. I meant just to be a hitter. She's too good at setting to be a hitter anyway. 13-13, backcourt attack. I've gone back to the trusty captain, Xu Zhao. Yeah, I mean, Xu is showing us why she's also one of the best hitters in the world. She can swing from anywhere on court, and her team really do rely on her. They do have other hitters, but she's just that much bigger than them. It's a lot easier for her to move that ball around and find those holes in the defense. When she's back court, and obviously the block being so large, is that easier for her then to, to see where the block is and start to find the angles? Yeah, I mean, I think so sometimes. It depends on where you're hitting from, but when you're further off from the net, you have better vision of where the blocks are. You can see where the defense is, but equally, it's harder to get that ball to drop down once it goes over the net. Well, the back of the ball just catches the line there from Bridge. She found the gap between the block. Good pressure on the serve. That's a lovely roll shot coming in from Tong Chumei. I mean, in a word, that was insane. What an amazing angle, and this is where China excel so nicely. Well, that even distracted Heather Eriksson there, didn't it? She wasn't sure what to go. Eriksson gets the first touch, comes back to her again. Well, she knows exactly where to go now. 
There's a bite and aggression in the celebrations as well as it now. It's Oh, definitely. I mean, this is one of the biggest rivalries in sitting volleyball. I mean, in the men's competition, we talked about Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Islamic Republic of Iran. This is just as major as that. These teams mean business. They're here to prove a point. We're better than you. She gets the block again, similar to what happened a few points ago. And it's shut back down again by Ericsson. 13 points for Heather Ericsson so far in this game. Over 80 points already in this competition. And it's an ace serve from Bridge. Well, USA now have the two-point advantage. Yeah, we're starting to see a few errors again from China. They're just not quite able to stop the aggression from the US. US have equally found some really good energy, so. Ericsson blocked. But no, a lift has been called on the block from China. It wasn't obvious which one the referee had called that on, but it is obvious that China have called a timeout here, 15-18. Julian and Dave, the sports presentation team here, work at their magic. I mean, the energy in the North Paris Arena throughout Paris 2024 has been absolutely incredible, and it's a lot of that is thanks to those guys. But the fans are bringing the energy, they're bringing the excitement, and you know, that, that's a double-edged sword. It can be really helpful in some ways, but it can also wreak havoc. Players have a hard time hearing each other. Now, these two teams, They've played in arenas like this before, so they're more used to it. Great response. The ball was down. Lu Hong Jin. It was weird because there was a hush in the crowd there in midpoint. It was, they realized, oh, we're playing again. Yeah, everybody just held their breath for a they second. They were so busy having fun doing the Max Grave. They thought, oh, and there's a game here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, and once again, Tong, she's really cool, calm, and collected. Comes in and hits it to make it count. Quick in from Matthews, nice defending, deep for China, and then that was off tempo, just using the block. Yeah, it was a really nice swing, really aggressive from the back row. But Tong, once again, she's one of the top hitters in this tournament, and she is for a reason. 17-18, Ericsson hits it, and it stays hit. She was trying her best there to try and get some kind of block on it. Yeah, she tried to take the cross court there, but with a player like Ericsson, she's so talented, she has so much control, and she'll just hit the ball wherever the hole is. Deep served by Webster. Pushed down the center. Matthews, cross court, lovely angle. Yeah, this USA offense is almost looking unstoppable. They're just hitting over the top of Chi the Chinese block, and that just kind of that's leaving their defenders completely exposed. Let's again. This time down the line, it's forced out wide. Oh, it's just ricocheted a little bit through the block, and that just distracted. Kind of headache. I mean, Wong doing really well to adjust herself there. She puts herself in a really good position to put the speed that she needed on that ball. It almost looked personal as well, the way she celebrated after that was done. Of course, side assist has just cleared up any perspiration on the court. As we get ready to go in 18-19. Excellent hand to dig that one out. Opportunity here for China. They caught the antenna on the attack coming in from Zhang Lijun. Yeah, once again, you can see what Zheng Lijin was going for. She was trying to thread that needle, but that ball just nicked that antenna. She came away with a smile. She knew exactly what she'd done. Well, Ericsson was always telling as well, saying, I got you. Nice block on the serve. Bridge at full stretch. He can't bring it back into play. 
It's now or, ne not ne now or never for China, but China need this next point. Yeah, the USA are starting to get into the danger zone here. They're within four points of finishing out the set. They've got a lot of good energy, a lot of good momentum. China just need to find a way to put pressure on that and stop it. Well, that's one way. USA trying to force the ball back on them quickly. Yeah, and you can totally see what Bridge is trying to do. She sees that gap in the Chinese defense, trying to do something a bit different and catch them off guard, but you've got to execute those when you go for it. Lovely pressure on the serve. The second touch couldn't be controlled. And the scores are now level. Lovely work from Zhang Zhufei. Bill Hamilton calling for a timeout. China need those two points to continue this game. As you felt, as soon as USA get three points ahead in that danger zone, there's no stopping them. But here and now, anything can happen. Twenty-one, twenty-one here in the second set of this gold medal match. China serving. USA looking for a response. Nieves, can she get at them? And she can. It's a great swing from Nieves. We haven't seen much from her so far, but boy, can she hit the ball. And I love her celebration. She shows so much joy. All these, te all these players, both these teams, seem to have like a trademark celebration. It's There'll be a gif or a meme soon, no doubt. Deep serve to one. Scramble coming in, it's tight on the net. Or well, somehow, Zhang Lijia managed to get herself around that ball. It looked like it was going to be in Block City straight away. Yeah, Zhang was not in a good position, and it wasn't her fault. The set was really tight. You've got a big block in front of you. I'm amazed that she got that through. That's excellent work. It almost like a miss hit dropped short on Zuma. She wasn't expecting it there. 22-22. Great work on the block, on the serve here. And that ball immediately goes down. China can't respond. USA 23-22 up. Flag bearer from the opening ceremony, Nieves. Back with a serve. Well, that comes back with interest into the corner. China knew exactly what they were doing there. I mean, what a great pusher. It wasn't even a block. Liu went up and she smacked at that ball to make that ball bounce off and go deep. That's really creative and really clever. 23-23 basically means whoever wins this point will be serving for the set. Jiang serving, forcing Zumo out wide. Webster. Does it get the powerhouse there? China do, and it lands. China have the set point. Is that a missed opportunity for USA? Again, it's resilient defense by China. They serve for the second set, and they get it from the serve. Zhang Lujan has leveled the gold medal match. 25-23, sensational. I mean, let's compliment the Chinese on their resilience here. That was a really tough set for them to come into. They had a pretty tough loss in set one. They really rallied. And they, they finished, they got it done in set two. That is going to feel, that relief that they feel is going to be intense. Remember, there's the set scores there, 25-23, the second set. China led 6-0 at the start of that. USA clawed it back to 6-7. Then as the set went on, China had that one or two point lead. Then USA retook the lead by two points, by three points in 2017. And China came back, and there's the stats. Ev evens on the attacks, pretty much evens on the blocks. It's such a fascinating game here. 
and very even on the errors as well. Even the error count, eight come down, five and six per team. Yeah, and I think there were only kind of two or three errors on that statistics board, but China only had to win that once again just by two points. It shows you how crucial every single point is in a match like this. You don't win the set on that last. on that team to get the job done you allow them to work it out amongst themselves and a team like china they've got the experience they've played together forever they're able to do that and lead themselves third set gets underway here with usa serving against the people's republic of china and oh. Kind of hell a chase that ball down and keeping it up but just drifting out of play first point for china that's another great swing from China off the hands of Bridge. I mean, her hands are up, they're over the net, but they get that angle just right to get the job done. Great set. Lifting call for China. What the hell are they there? Falling away, and that is pure wrist and arm strength. Yeah, Kanahele, she's one of the best setters in the game. She's super fast. She's also so smart. She knows exactly what's going on on both sides of the court. She's almost like a general. She keeps her offense running. She tells them what they're doing, but she's also got her eye on China. China come in with their captain. Looking to see there's a net touch there. Nothing given. Ericsson, side on, uses the ball. First time doesn't work, but that's what she was trying the first time. The second time of asking, it's the wipe off. I'm not really sure how she was able to make that happen. She's facing into the court. She hits into the block, and the block or the ball bounces behind her. It's probably called her own shot, isn't it? That's the Ericsson. <laughs> block was there by Matthews. China didn't see that one coming. Lu Hong Jin. No, China are going to have to keep that ball away from the net. They know that's a big block over there. That's an error you don't want to get into the habit of making against a team like the USA. 3-1, it's opened up in this third set. Bridge to serve. Dropping in the middle of the court. Pumped out high, Matthews has a quick look to see what's what. Yeah, she just lifted at the last moment, almost leaning on her left arm, and just extends that torso off the floor just ever so slightly. Yeah, it's a good catch by the referee. I think I think Matthews knew she did it as soon as she landed. Hong Jim with the serve. Ericsson, new balls, please. <laughs> We're going to need him after this game, that's for sure. 
mean, Eric's is an absolute beast. She's nearly a sure thing, which is so handy to have for Kanahele, the setter. She doesn't get the best pass, but she knows if she puts that ball in front of Erickson, she can give herself the best chance of a point. Nice ball in. Good attacking options. Targeting Webster on the backcourt at five. She doesn't normally play other than when she serves. She'll be departing for Zumo. So it's that kind of target, your middle blocker there, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. China will know exactly where those middle blockers are. They'll see Webster in that backcourt, and unfortunately, USA's block opened up that window for them. Ericsson. Well, she's got a whole playbook of shot selections, and she's just working her way through, thumbing her way through the pages, going, I'll do that one now. Yeah, she's just incredible. I love watching Heather play. She's already got 17 kills. And we're only at the very start of set three. Oh, it's an ace. She's had that to a challenge as well. That's her first ace. 17 kills, two blocks, one ace, 20 points already. Yeah, that's an uncharacteristic miscommunication error there for China. Kept alive, but the referee does finally blow the whistle and saying it was four touches. The thing is with USA, they do go very heavy on one player at a time, don't they? Sometimes it's either Bridge, sometimes it's Ericsson. Where China, we do see that balance a little bit more. Yes, the captain is quite dominant, but actually the score, the scoring behind USA, the next person who's up there is six points with Bridge. So it's 14 points difference attacking for USA, while for China, 14 points is for the captain, but then the others are start to cluster in together, so they do distribute it very differently. Yeah, but I think it's it's about getting to your hot player, right? Yeah. Kanahele, she's able to feed that ball to the right person pretty much regardless of what the pass looks like. And it's just point after point after point after point. Feed Heather Erickson. And as soon as, as soon as they try to work that out, then she'll change it, go to Bridge, go That's to Webster. That's exactly what she'll do, yeah. yeah. She'll find the next hot hitter yeah. until they rotate and everything changes a little bit. Blockers are different, defenders are different. I'd love to see what Erickson's rehab is for that shoulder. <laughs> post-game rehab. I think it's a lot of ice. <laughs> we might send you down to the mix zone and you can ask those questions in the interviews later on just to see exactly what's going on. I mean, this is a huge swing here from Zhang. She hits it into the block, but she puts so much power behind it. You see that really quick approach. She's so good at positioning her body and she's just able to blast through the American block. From the back line, Ericsson. Oh, lovely skills, but Strang is it too wide with the foot. Well, Ericsson from the back line on the right side. Have we had that yet? Yes. Probably. I've lost track, to be honest. I mean, look at that reach. She's really a little bit off balance, and she's just teetering up on that left hip. She's able to hold it together. That takes a lot of core strength. 8-4 to USA. Four points in. Lifting given. We're trying to very quick to just say, OK, let's play on. I don't tend to argue too much, but... No, China are very steady. I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't think they are either, but they just move on. Next point, focus on the future. Nieves in the middle gets the block. Well, China finds the... Sorry, Bridget gets the block. I apologise. I got swayed by the celebration. She lured me in on that one, Nieves. China found themselves up six points earlier in the second set. Now they find themselves six down here, 10-4. Well, Ericsson put that ball high going right, it's there. <laughs> right on top of it, she could get out of the way quick enough. No, Zumo trying to talk to Matthews, but I think she didn't hear her. Zumo couldn't get around Ericsson, and it's so loud in here. You can understand how that would happen. But the most important thing is, is they've got to refocus. Don't worry about that point. It was just junk. Like, refocus, look forward. Matthews, a lovely ball in. Bridge. That's well, a big swing from Katie Bridge. Her reaction said it all. That felt good. What a swing over the top of the Chinese block. She did a little bit of a dance there. Zuma goes back, Webster back on front court. She'll revert to her middle position to work on the block. Oh, this one has come through from Tong Jumai. That's some great side of the net. 
Tong saw Webster. She wasn't closing. She was off the net. She was reaching, unstable. She knew she could just let it rip right into her hands. Yeah, that's the only probably way of getting past Webster at the minute, isn't it? Get her off a, onto her side either way. Comes back over the first time. China, second time of asking here. Get the swing, get the touch, and get the point. Yeah, USA, USA doing a good job of making a better ball. They were struggling, struggling a little bit to get the ball up, but in the end, it go, it's an easy ball over to China, and they're able to put, put some power behind it. High at the net. Well, that's smart play by China. Do you want to get into a fight at the net? No touch given on the block, so it's an error. There was a little bit of confusion there. Zhang Zhufei getting in the way of Zhu. Not often you see that. No, you don't often see that. I think Zhang kind of lost sight of where she was on court because she also swung at that in front of the two-meter line. She's a back row player. She can't do that. This one off the net. Quick touch on two. Chicken wing defense by Webster. High ball in. Bridge turning. Provider, great defense, lovely set out wide. What a point for China! The control from the defense to the offense, impeccable. And not only the control, but the reach. For that defending player to get that ball, put it forward, and then that back set, beautiful out to shoe. China really showing us what they're capable of when they have the opportunity. Magical. Chinese captain just asking who's the server, please. She wants to know who the server is so they're not out rotation. I think probably in the, in that moment of such ecstasy and excitement, you just kind of forget, yeah. forget what happened before. Lock, touch by China. There you go again. Classic three touch now, backcourt attack. Zumo provided for Ericsson! China just smiling, like, what can they do about that? You talk about this game being about physics. Well, Ericsson, her hitting action defies physics. It does. Defies it, logic. It, yeah, it defies logic. Physics is physics. But she comes in <laughs> so hard. She comes in fast. Her hit is in sync with her movement of her body. That just adds to that power. Well, a lift, a help ball called by the referee on the touch from China. And those two points in a row for USA have just taken that sting out the Chinese tail here. 14-8. Big block. Needs to come over this time, but it doesn't. Yeah, the USA have done an amazing job of maintaining that momentum. China had a couple of really great rallies. And I think a less composed team would start to crumble there. They'd start to make errors. They'd make bad judgment calls. But USA is able to regroup themselves. They trust each other. They have a really great relationship. And that is so critical in these big matches. Paris Arena is officially bouncing. It's rocking, it's rolling, and this is the gold medal match here in the Women's City Volleyball Final. And what a game we have. Currently, USA leading 15-8 in the third set. The game tied at one set all. And it is Katie Bridge back to serve. Well, the timeout did its job. That momentum has just slowed down this time for USA. And it is about that, that energy, that shift, that momentum, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Players feed off of that. It gets their adrenaline pumping. That puts more power on hits, makes them think a little bit faster. And again, with two teams that are so closely matched, the score right now doesn't really show that, but the past sets do. When they're so closely matched, any tiny advantage you can get, the better. Just turning on the side there, moving in court just so she doesn't come anywhere near the ball landing. Webster back to serve. 
Trying to target her at five again. No, it goes to six. Nieves has the height advantage at the net. All oh, the touches there. Webster's chasing it. Oh, a little backward roll. Seven out of ten for you for that one, Laura. Yeah, what great hustle by both of those defenders. Once again, though, it's China with that great swing. Wong really winding up, putting that pressure on the American defense. Double figures for China, but still down by six. Chance here for USA with Ericsson. Oh, she's got into the block. Chance here for China. Oh, good use. Using the hands of Nieves. That's China not panicking again, as you talked about beforehand, isn't it? Keeping that ball up. Yep, steely reserve. Ice in their veins in the nicest way possible. But the other thing is, is that China are very aware that Nieves, as an army amputee, she has one hand there to control her block, and that gives them an advantage. They're going to use that as long as they can. China with amazing pickups. USA, they end up giving away a double contact. That is, again, about that resilience, that tenacity on defense. Yeah, and I think the U.S. made that made that error because they were having to move so much. They're throwing their bodies around. It makes it a lot harder to get those clean touches, and that's all down to the pressure that China's putting on them. Well, China taking full advantage here, especially while Kalahele is on that defensive position at six. Her and Zumo on the serve receive. By doing that, it's forcing Ericsson to take that second ball effectively. That's what they want to do. Take her out the option of this rotation then China can see there's an opportunity for them. Yeah, if Ericsson has to set, that means she can't hit. She can't touch the ball two times in a row, and it's a brilliant tactic. Well, three down in the third set in the gold medal match. If anybody can, can get back into this set, it's going to be the People's Republic of China. I apologize. We are in Paris after all. It is 13-16, Nieves with a swing. And it's a great time out for USA. They secured that point. Stop the momentum, stop the energy. From China. Kanahele back from court now. She's got Matthews and Nieves as attacking options on the front. China with three off the hands. Again, as you talked about earlier, targeting Nieves, using that while they can when she's there at the net. Yeah, and I can speak from experience that it's incredibly frustrating to be that person being targeted, but you've just got to do your best to overcome it and just keep playing. Well, the is one who likes a battle. She doesn't quit, doesn't give up, does she? No, absolutely not. And that's one thing China aren't doing right now. They're coming back. They're being a lot more aggressive than that. Quicker to position. Kind of Halle well, was off balance there as well, so she would lost a little bit of height. This one's tight. Lovely set. a great swing from Matthew. She's got a whip fast arm. She gets her body in just the right position and just smashes that ball through the Chinese block. Well, so dangerous is the setter as well that one block is staying with her. So as soon as she sees that, that hands are up on her, she just distributes it reverse, gets a one-on-one -on -one option. Now it goes out to Bridge. She's off the net. That means the point for USA, doesn't it? Pretty much 99% of the time. Yeah, Bridge is having a really good match. I don't think we've really gotten to see her shine yet in this tournament, and she's really coming out and pulling all the stops out for this match against China. Nine points for Bridge so far. Seven attacks, one block, one ace serve. USA leading by four. Couldn't quite get the better of China that time. And in the end, Tong Jimei does get the better of the block. Angle on to Ericsson, it's out to Bridge. 
Oh, just the change of direction. Yes. You talk about the core strength and the power just to turn. That was yeah. all the shoulders. Yeah, you can see Katie's body was co facing completely to the side of the court. China are going to be lining up to meet that. They're expecting a cross-court shot, and she just turns her shoulder and just pops it down the line. Reverse set into the block, straight over USA with Webster. China into the block, it's still alive. That ball's kept up, but it's gone out of play. Well, until the ball hits the floor, you're never quite sure where it's going to end up. No, and even sometimes when it, you think it's hit the floor, it's still up. I mean, it, it's the U.S.'s blocking game that are really, that's really making the difference here in this match. They're shutting down China's offense. And, that, and that's keeping China from being able to score any points. 12 blocks. It's an incredible amount of points. Double the amount for China. Back line. Oh, oh Matthews. Just has to put something on it if she can, but so hard. <laughs> yeah, it was a really smart swing. I think that was by Shu. She kind of yeah. helly. She's a great player, but she's not got a very big reach. And Shu will know that's where the short block is. She's going to hit right over the top of her. Special backcourt. They've got more time to get the top spin to bring the ball down. High off the hands from Ericsson. She wants to go backcourt to have a swing. So we've had the whole range of backcourt shots now coming from Ericsson. She's going to need to write a new, new playbook. Yeah, just incredible scenes out here in the North Paris Arena. Some really top-notch volleyball. It's a danger zone time for China now. USA just requiring three points. China down by five. And if they might seem a bit down and out now. It might seem impossible for them to catch up at this point, but you can never catch China out. Their defense has been incredible. Their offense has overcome a complete disadvantage at times, just like we saw there. They're powering those hits through the block where they can, and it's keeping them alive. They're, gonna, they're very much capable of fighting their way back in this set, and the U.S. cannot let their guard down. In the past, in the finals and years gone by, there have been some quite big scoreline differences, 25-12, 25-15s. Those kind of times now between these two teams are over. They're going to be fiercely battle, fiercely fought sets that go all the way, all the way up to 18, 19 points, aren't they? Yeah. At least point for point, they're going these teams. Nineteen twenty-two. That's well, a packed out house here at the North Paris Arena. 10 of the Paralympics. Gold medal match. And Ericsson has a wicked swing out wide. That set just went from pin to pin, and you knew what was going to happen then. I mean, Ericsson's having an incredible match, and Connaheli is doing a stellar job of finding her no matter where she is. Reached the pass. On comes Emma Sheik, the serving sub. Has eight aces in her game against France. This is a very different... Kettler Fish here. And not to be outdone on the power or the accuracy. Yeah, Shu coming out with a couple of bombs herself. That was an incredible swing, Eight. getting that angle. Sorry, 18 points for Shu so far in this game. All out attacks. The combination is still up, it's still alive. Insane. Webster. China, can they sneak this now? It's gone deep to the corner. Oh, it's just wide. Well, that ball took an age to come down. Yeah, that ball basically ricocheted off of Zhang. She did really well to put herself in the right spot. It, it stayed in, it went over the net, which is really all you can ask off of a swing from Ericsson. And just Set an point. A Reverse angle. It's still in. China have another option this time. Trying to get past the block, they can't. Third time, he can't. It's going to be a double contact call against them. USA are going to take it. And the first time of asking, they now lead by two sets to one. Well, they tried to win the ball from right to left. 
And Zhang just got a little bit confused which hand to go with first, I don't know. Yeah, Zhang looked like she tried to kind of throw it over the block. You can't do that. You've got to have a really clean touch on contact number two. Well, let's confirm the result of this game so far. Three sets in. 25-21 the first set to USA. 25-23 to the People's Republic of China. And that third set finishes at 25-20. If you can, summarize the game with these stats that are coming up. Yeah, I mean, I think without even seeing the stats, I can say without a doubt, blocking is making a big difference for the USA. Six to one, it's been like this for most of the match. Their size really helps them, but it's not just that. They're really fast, they read really well, they're really disciplined on their blocking, and China just aren't big enough to get there. If they have any hope at all, they need to give themselves a bit more space at the net, give them some sight. They need to get back to tooling off of that block and giving themselves those kills. Collectively between the two teams, it was a set with the least amount of errors as well. And just some world-class volleyball action here. Screw in the house. Ready to go with the fourth set in this gold medal match. And China starts us off with a fantastic ace serve from Zhang. Li Jin to the left-hand side. That was just dropping short on the two-meter line. Yeah, it always feels good to, to be the first ones to get on the scoreboard. It gives you a really nice start, gives you something to build off of. Big aggressive swing, nice block from Bridge. Still up from China. USA have to attack, and they go deep this time. Ducking out the way, no touch given. Both teams on the board. And a heli. It's a tough float serve. Angle there is too tight, has to catch the antenna. Yeah, Nothing you can do about that one. No, that's a really tough ball to take. Shu doing pretty much all she could. But if that ball touches the, um, the aerial, the antenna, the pins, whatever you call them, it's automatically out of bounds. The ball goes to the other team. USA lead by one. And start of this fourth set. It's a set that China need to win to continue this game. They get aggressive from the back line. Possibly could have left that one in my draft it out. Well, that was, 
It was almost like a three-player attack back course. <laughs> it was going to take that one. I don't know if that was planned or not, but I think it did the <laughs> trick regardless. It gave everybody kind of that split second. Oh, God, what's happening? Who am I looking at? <laughs> Brilliant play from China. They're bringing a lot of aggressive hits from the back row. Bridge angled that one across. And she has that height that even when she's being put out of position, she could just get her hand around it. Yeah, she doesn't have to slam the ball every time. I mean, she puts a bit of speed behind it, of course, but she was, like you said, she was out of position. She just had to get around the ball and keep it inbounds. Which goes back to serve. This one clips the net. Great take from Zumo. Matthews unloads. Quick from China. It's going to be a free ball. USA get ready. This is a backcourt swing. That's a great leave by USA. Great leave. Kind of reminiscent of the second set where China just made error after error on the attack. Yeah, Tong doing well to find that gap between the block, but she's got to put a little bit more spin on that ball and make that drop before it goes out of bounds. Or to another serve that's just dropping high and deep. Ooh, well, this one has gone wide. That's three now, errors. Yeah, that's a really unusual string. I mean, every everybody's infallible, everybody's capable of errors, but three in a row from the Chinese attackers. It's giving USA a nice, healthy advantage here. Definitely a touch on that one. Hey, it was hit with aggression from Zhang Zhufei. I love watching Zhang Zhufei play. She plays with so much intensity, but she's still so cool and collected. But she's inside, got this absolute dragon inside of her. And when she gets those kills, I just love the fierceness that comes out of her. It's drifted over for China. They get a chance to attack. The block is there from USA. Little tip, Webster now turning set to Ericsson. Bridge put out reaches for it. Oh, what a touch that is from Wang Yan Yan. Brilliant placement from Wang. She really had to hustle in there. That was really smart, able to get under that ball. It was really tight to the net. Bridge <laughs> trying to reach for that, just not able to extend her arm far enough. Ericsson, block. Webster takes the ball up. Great defense again from China. Is it going to go to Ericsson? No, Bridge has a swing backcourt. It's still up. But it's too wide to receive that ball back into play. I mean, talk about resilience. The Chinese defenders took ball after ball after ball. But in the end, it was that great swing from Bridge. It actually just went in the lap of the defender, but she didn't have her platform. You've got to have it just right when the ball's coming at you that fast. Webster, angle serve into the corner. Use of the block. Couldn't get it away. Matthews recycles the ball into the net. Nieves has to take that ball behind her head. Great take. No, Nieves at full stretch. Oh, what a block! I mean, what incredible play. I mean, both sides of the court were all over the place, but that play by Nieves, she managed to get herself back up and block that ball. Absolutely incredible. The strength that these athletes have to be able to do these movements, I can't even over-exaggerate how hard that is. Sensational play. Oh, Webster. Well, she was there. She just couldn't quite get her hand underneath it properly. Again, China just changing up their routine. They're going to the back line, firing down the line. They know Webster's there. Two-point game now, 5-7. Coaching staff just having a chat with Webster there about something when she goes back onto court, front court. Ericsson. Automatically says, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's, that's not the playbook, is she it? She a out. little bit shocked at that. I think she was going off of hands. China just pulled them down. It's okay, I think we can let her have one error at this point. She's on 25 points so far. Well, China gave them the point back, something they're not ideally wanting to do. USA again, have a little break point cushion, two points to the back line. Well, 
Matthew Zumo, one of the best Libros out there. Really strong wrist, good control of the ball. But this has come so hard at it. I mean, that is... They talk about softening the blow, don't they? There's only so much you can do there. sensational swing from Tong. The amount of force she put behind that ball. Nieves into the block. Matthew so quick to react. Nieves pumps it back over. Chance for China. Roll shot. That's a beautiful roll shot. John going up for that great big swing just at the last second. A nice, soft, quick touch. There's a huge hole there in the defense. She saw that. Well, they know if they're going to go anywhere with Ericsson. It's got to be short. She's not the quickest to move just there. Zumo normally is working side by side with her to take that one. Ericsson does get underneath this one. Nieves gets the reach. But there is a net touch given against USA. Time out called here, 9-8. China have turned this set around. This, it's only a one-point lead, but that is a big confidence shift for them to get that little advantage now, isn't it? It absolutely is, and we've talked about momentum a few times, and it's coming back up again. China have gotten a few points in a row. They've gotten some really big swings. Now, the USA are still playing well, by all means, but... China are going to be able to feed off of this energy. They're getting, they're, they'll be getting more confident. They'll be thinking a little bit faster. They're more in the game. Adrenaline is pumping. Well, let's see what USA do to respond here after calling their timeout. They led by three points early on at 4-7. Now China Bought the way back into this. By the pressure on USA and now lead 9-8. Long, long way still to go. USA will look for an immediate response. And it goes into the block and out of play from Kanahele. Kanahele doesn't get many swings on that ball, but she saw that that Chinese block was not quite set. Hands not angled as they should have been. That gave her a really nice option. Well, the block was there. China going quickly. Bridge has lots of room to use it. Does get the deflection off the block, though. Well, the USA defense is in fine form right now. They've kept it alive yet again. China attacking from the back line. Well, it was only a matter of time. But that was phenomenal. The defense, the blockers moving so much, working so well backcourt. Yeah, I mean, the USA is giving the world a master class in blocking and sitting volleyball. Just block after block. That means China has to try again and again. That, that, they stay really steady. They're really resilient, but that's going to start to tire them out. 10-9. Nieves. Oh, that's good aggression. Zumo. Just swinging those arms, it's almost like that golf swing, isn't it? Coming back, just can't get yeah. her shoulder down. And when a ball's coming that fast, you've really got to work hard to get your platform behind it. Bethany just not able to get her platform where it needed to be, but she's fine. She knows exactly what she's doing. Wang with the serve. Bridge with that ball behind her. Brief opportunity here for China. They can't put it away the first time. They go to the back line. And they guarantee that ball to go away because the captain is swinging so well. That's her 20th attack. I mean, how many times can you say the word incredible in one match, Mark? Just so much talent on this Chinese squad. They're so calm. They're so consistent. And it pays off when they're able to get the ball to their big hitters. Well, we haven't seen that second touch over for a while and almost it didn't work for USA, but Nieves was there so fast to pick it up. Yeah, her reactions are great. She's always watching the ball. She's always looking to see what else she can do to better it. Good pressure serve. Oh, wow. Not so incredible. 
I was just going to say wow for I a know, minute. I know, we need to find a thesaurus, but I just can't think of anything else to say. I mean, it's just absolutely stellar work. China are picking apart these little chinks in the U.S. defense. They're exploiting that, and they're getting really, they're getting great points on the scoreboard, and they're also preventing America from getting those swings that have gotten them as far as it has. Bridge into the block, and again, a little tip. You see that one coming, China read it well. Webster puts it over first time, but she's, well, it hasn't got into the antenna. The, the linesman pulls the flag away. Referee says no for the first time on Webster, but the second time for China, it has got into the pit on the opposite side. Not going to see the replay for the one from Webster. It's interesting that the linesman signaled that the ball came, hit that. And they were, that linesman was in the right place to see it. Referee overruling, 11-13, uh, USA back within two. Nice spot, but just long. Yeah, that was a really nice idea, and that ball very nearly outran the Americans. They got lucky on that one. It's the moment where China just give away a couple of points again. They go in little cycles, don't they, and USA are just taking advantage of that. Help all called there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you don't need to be a lip-reading expert for that, do you? What was that? <laughs> no, she's so expressive, Webster. Obviously not with her. That accent, of course. 14-12. <laughs> Ericsson. Well, trying to keep that ball alive from Ericsson. But just when they think they can get the point back, up comes Webster. I mean, look at this reach that Webster has. She goes up even higher than Katie Bridge. It's her fifth of this match. She just puts up a wall. China not able to get around it. Bridge does this a few times, doesn't that? That feature is almost like when you when you sort of play tennis, it's got to be up in front of you, catch there. This one, she has to go back a lot on the serves, trying to get a hand around the back of the ball. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's important to, to talk about how uh, how much mental strength it takes to go back to the service line in a match like this. You know, Katie, Katie probably was just feeling a bit rattled, not as focused as she should have been. But in the end, it doesn't matter. That's a free point for the USA. Well, talk about that. That's not something you see very often from China. It was like they were moving away from the ball, not sure who was going to take it. Wang was just waiting out wide, thinking, I just put the ball up to me, I'll put it away here, I'll put it away, but no. And now USA with that, with Webster back to serve, it's 14-15. It's a one-point game. Webster does well on the defence. Ericsson! <laughs> USA at level, 15-15. Now, once again, just give it to Heather Ericsson. She puts the ball down almost every time. It's like reading a book and turning the page, but know what's going to happen already. Ball to Ericsson. I don't, I don't, I've just turned the page. I know what's going to happen. Now we'll see what China are made of. Now that that couple of points has come, been closed off from them in a set that they need to win. No touch again. Well, the error count for China coming up here in this third set is impacting them and they've given the uh, they've given the points away a few times and now USA lead as China call the timeout USA 16 at China 15 in the fourth set USA leading by two sets to one Well, in this fourth set, USA have got six kills themselves. China have given them eight points. Half of the points that USA have scored have been given by errors by China. One area they've got to really work on. Slow the game down, control it, find that consistency, which we know they've got. USA. 
Force that serve long by Webster, so it's good. You talked about the mental strength. That's another tough one as well. The coach will call for a timeout. Just you're about to go back and serve, and you've got to wait, and that suspense builds up a little bit for you, doesn't it? Yeah, and it breaks your focus. I mean, it, it's really difficult to serve in a match like this anyway. There's a lot on the line, and these players know it. But you've got to be really tough and really focused to do what you need to do back there. Well, this serves an ace serve, dropping a short on Matthews, and automatically, Matthews goes up, Ericsson goes back to receive. So that's a real good thing in their team, just to make that change up. Lifting called on the block from China, point to USA. Sometimes you can wait too long to make that change on the serve receive. USA doing it automatic and right quick. Make the server think differently. Somebody else to serve on. Yeah, because they know they can't give China any opportunities. I mean, they've... Help all called. Oh, sorry, four touches called. It wasn't touched on the block. It's close, though. The referee saying there was no touch on the block, just the net. We haven't seen a replay of that one, so... I think something to look out for at this point in the game, and it very well could change next point, is the difference in the body language between these two teams. Now, normally, China, they're really strong, but you can see the frustration is starting to come out. They're trying too hard. They're trying to make things happen. Meanwhile, the USA are staying really calm. They're just playing their game. They're not getting too rattled. And they're celebrating. I mean, look at that. The amount of bonding that they have. They celebrate. They get their energy up. They're all pumped. Well, China chasing this game now. And the back end of the fourth set. They need that reset button. And they need it pretty soon. USA are looking confident and in control. Nice push. Matthews doesn't even have to move for that set. It's on the money. The only thing she has to do is swing that shoulder through the ball, high in the hand, and secure her team another point. Yeah, and look at that swing from Matthews. Perfectly off the Chinese block. It sails out of bounds. Second time out for China. Down by three points now, 2017. Again, we talked about it before. It's now they need to get back in it. Yeah, they do. I mean, China are handing this set back to the USA. The amount of errors that they've given, they're up to nine now. And it's a, it's a gift to the USA. It makes their job a lot easier. And you can't, you can't be giving a team like this those opportunities. Team USA are in the house, and they're enjoying it as well. Back underway, Ericsson with the serve. And it's a huge block. Nieves and Matthews shutting them down again. I think that's what we call a roof block. Look at those hands by Matthews. They're almost flat over the court. There's no way that ball was coming back up. Yes, Mo shouts Nieves. Into the block. Oh, the second time. Great work from China. Eighteen twenty-one. China need to score on their serve. They've got Ericsson backcourt, but she just tips it, but tips it beautifully. And China now find themselves down four points. USA find themselves three points away from a third gold medal at the Paralympic Games. Yeah, they're three points away, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. China are perfectly capable of overcoming this, and it's not over until it's over, Mark. Absolutely not. I kind of don't want this game to end, it's so good. I know, I totally appreciate that, I'm the same. Well, Ericsson's tried to take, she's taken that ball so far forward in front of it, all she could do is try and get it over, wasn't got enough lift on the thumbs, 
And it's 2022. The gap's yeah. back to two. There's like a danger zone in front of your body when you're receiving a ball. If it's not low enough, you can't use your platform. It's a little bit too low to use your hand successfully. And unfortunately, Ericsson found herself in that Time exact under the ball spot. for China. Great save, great defense from USA. Something we talk about China being so good at. Now USA are dominating the defense. Two points away. I mean, the USA defenders are doing a great job of just keeping that ball alive. But not only that, they're able to allow their other teammates to get a second touch on that. It's increasing their chances of attacking, and we know that that's how they're winning this match. China coming down the line. Second time of asking. Tong having to work so hard. But USA taking the point, this time with Bridge. It's not just any point now they're serving for. It's a set point, a match point, a gold medal point. Here in Paris, Nikki Nieves missed Tokyo because of COVID. She's come back into this in her second games, serving for the match. Back court. Oh, through the block it goes from the Chinese captain. Nerves of steel. Yeah, One Shu, match point saved. Shu doing a great job finding that hole. Like you said, nerves of steel. China have been in this position before. They just have to hold the USA off for a few more points because USA have to win by two. 21-24. Ace for China. That wasn't in the script at all. Zhang Lijun has thread that ball between the defense of Ericsson and Matthews. And USA call for a timeout as another match point goes away from them. 22-24. Cooler Khan, the head coach from USA, Bill Hamita, just takes a seat on his bench. Chinese team on the bench just watching on. I mean, 6,000 crowd standing, waiting. The clap starts. It's another match point, the third match point for the gold medal. China come back. USA to take it with Bridge. On two, great save. Webster, well, it's still alive. Free ball option available. Bridge to take it off the floor. There it is. USA take gold here in Paris. Third gold in a row. Rio, Tokyo, and now Paris. No matter how many times you win a match like this, it never gets old. This win will still mean the world to Team USA. They had a lot of pressure on themselves coming into this Paralympic Games. They were two-time gold medalists. They wanted to prove themselves for a third. And oh boy, did they do that today. Absolutely without a doubt who the better team on the court was today. He's going to go. Well, China takes silver here in Paris. But the night belongs to the United States of America. The treble gold. They've had to work so hard. Gloria Webster. Kaleo in tears. These are tears of joy, of passion, of love. They've got their family and friends with them close by here. This celebration is going to go long into the night. There's confirmation. Gold medal match. USA took the first set, China the second, and then USA took sets three and four to win the game by three sets to one. Now the formalities of crossing the net after an amazing game. Some of the best sitting volleyball and volleyball we've seen in the world this year. And in the Paralympics, 
To be the best, you've got to beat the best. And USA have done that. They are the gold medalists and the Paralympic champions of the women's sitting volleyball. Look at those, look at those stats. It's down to the blocks. Look at the blocks. Six from China, 17 from the USA. That's 11 points. And that might even just make up most of those point differentials in all four of those sets. The USA are the golden girls of sitting volleyball and the queens of the net. Well, there's the final rankings. USA top of the pile where they belong. People's Republic of China take silver. Canada get their first medal podium as well here in Paris, taking that silver medal ahead, oh, sorry, a bronze medal ahead of Brazil. Well, a shout out to the coaching staff of both teams. From USA, Bill Hamilton, we've also got Michelle Goodall, Leo Filo, the Brazilian, plus the support staff behind them. For China, Xu Men alongside Shen Huang and Tang Yiming. But there's people behind the scenes where they've been coaching, training, you know this American lot as well. All the people behind the scenes that help build them to here. It's not just the players on court. It's a big group effort by both of these countries. Yeah, it's 100% the truth. It really, truly takes a village. It takes an entire community of people to believe in these teams, give them the support that they need, and make sure that they're able to succeed here in the North Paris Arena. Cleo Canahale was just hugging and now she's gone into the crowd to our left hand side and she is now embracing her two boys. There's the image of her. Nick Nieves missed Tokyo. She was gutted. This is what it means. Yeah, she called this her redemption games and oh boy was it. You can see on the faces of these women what this win means to them. This is four years in the making, eight years in the making, 12 years in the making. They have worked so hard over the last decade to build up the skills, the resilience, the bond to, to be able to be here today. And they're going to take the
for the women's sitting volleyball final. La fête ensemble.
sitting volleyball. Veuillez accueillir les médaillés. Please welcome the medalists. Welcome to the victory ceremony for the sitting volleyball competition here in Paris 2024, the Paralympic Games at the North Paris Arena. The medalists are making their way out. Best out. Taking a bronze medal for the first time at the Paralympic Games, it's Canada. All smiles for Team USA, a hat trick of golds. And taking the silver medal is the People's Republic of China. This is the medal presentation for the women's sitting volleyball here at the 2024 Games. The medals will be presented by Monsieur Andrew Parsons, President du Comité International. First of all, the presentation party presenting the medals will be the IPC President, Mr. Andrew Parsons. He visits here to the North Paris Arena to enjoy the sitting volleyball. We have the IPC Governing Board Member. Deborah Alexandra presenting the silver medals. Also, with the IPC governing board member presenting the bronze medals is Mr. John Peterson. Governing board member of the International Paralympic Committee. Presenting the mascots will be the World Paraboli President the gold medals. Lori Ochmura. President of World Parabon. Presenting Dr. the Stephen silver medal Dewey, keepsakes. Also from World Parabolly, the sport director, Stephen Judy. Madame Louise Ashcroft, director. The life member of the World Parabolly, the medal group director, World Louise Ashcroft, will be presenting the bronze medal keepsakes. Medaille de bronze représentant le Canada. Bronze medalist representing. The first medal being presented is the bronze medal for the first time in the Paralympics. It's Canada. They defeated Brazil in the bronze medal. What a performance that is from them. Yeah, Canada, no doubt, so elated to finally make it here to the podium. They finished fourth in Tokyo, just missing out on that bronze medal. They want it so bad. They've worked so hard, just like all of these athletes. Julianne Cosm, a 24-year-old, in her second Paralympic Games, is the first to receive the medal. Then the captain, Danielle Ellis, had an incredible tournament, led her team so well. Yeah, Ellis, one of the top scorers for Team Canada. She's a big player at the net, made her presence known. Jennifer Oakes, the setter. Annie Ferguson. Annie Ferguson in her second Paralympic Games. Next up is the Libro, Julianne Wong. Julianne, also one of the world's most talented Libros. She's so fast, able to keep those balls up and in play, letting Canada get those big swings that we've come to know and love them for. So Melenka working alongside Oaks. Heidi Peters at number 11. 
and she was the, the woman of that bronze medal match. Heidi Peter, she's the best scorer in the tournament with 24 aces. Eight aces in the first set. Caitlin Wright, Felicia Voschafik, the elder of the team, 44 years old. Started playing back in 2001. Jennifer McCreesh and making her debut alongside Alison Lang. And these two are part of the future of sitting volleyball here in Canada. And there's the coaching staff led by Nicole Ban. It's a proud moment for Canada. And it's a door they've been knocking at for quite a while, but to finally cross that line. It was a huge accomplishment. And you can see here the athletes are receiving little stuffed versions of the Paralympic mascot, Le Frige. But these are not just your average mascots. These little guys, you can see their blade and their leg are the same color as the medal that the athletes have just been awarded. And these are not available to purchase. No one else is able to have a freeze just like this. It's a really nice special touch here from the Paris organizing committee. With the medal having a part of the Eiffel Tower and now their own personalized freeze to match their medal. Well, it's been interesting to see how Canada now go on from strength to strength. How do they top this? What's next for them? Silver the world champs as well. They're starting to grow and they're a young squad destined for big things. Bronze medalists here in Paris. They are Canada. Silver medalists representing People's Republic of China. Well, China, they're familiar about playing in the finals and the People's Republic of China. Unfortunately, this time, Still on the podium, but it's a silver medal for them. A brilliant performance through the whole tournament. Tom Sumei. 30-year-old Tom Sumei in her third Paralympic Games. Yeah, she was one of China's many big hitters, big score for her. Liu Hongyin, 43 years old, in her sixth Paralympics. May was the best receiver in the World Cup and had a really solid time here. Who we, we see? Five ace serves in their second Paralympics. Leading the 34 year old. Wang 32 year old on a fourth Paralympics. Wang Yang Yan, another important member of this squad. Yeah, Wang Yanan really made her presence known here in Paris. She had a big swing, a big serve. She was right there supporting the rest of the offense on China. Zhang Zhufei and then Zhu Zhizhao, the captain. What a player she is. What a game she had. Zhang Lishun, who wears number 11 in her fifth Paralympics. Zhu Zhufei only played a handful of points in the competition. Sao Mei Ling, her husband, a four-time sitting volleyball Paralympian as well. And Hong Lu, the Libro, in her debut here in Paris at the Paralympic Games. Well, there were silver medalists in Tokyo, silver medalists in Rio, and silver medalists here in Paris. They have taken the gold back in 2012, in 2008, and also in 2004, beating the Netherlands, but all the rest have always been against USA, and it's been a real, real interesting battle, seeing both of these teams develop and grow, and the style of play they play. Yeah, and you know, the USA and China, they both set the standard for sitting volleyball, basically as soon as the women's game was introduced. China seemed almost Un, you know, unable to be toppled off of the top of that podium. But in recent years, the USA have been able to find ways to get the better of them. But this is a hugely strong team. They'll be regrouping, making more plans for the future. They won't be satisfied with a silver medal. So the silver medalists here in Paris in the 2024 Paralympic Games is the People's Republic of China.
médaillé d'or et championne paralympique représentant les États-Unis d'Amérique. Here in Paris 2024 in the City Volleyball Women's Competition, the gold medalist and Paralympic champions are the United States of America. A hat trick of wins, Rio, Tokyo, and now Paris. And they received the adulation from the thousands here in the North Paris Arena. And even Andrew Parsons gets a big embrace from Laura Webster. Was an astounding player. She didn't get loads of kills, but she was the best blocker in both the men's and the women's game. She had 22 points off of her blocks, and that has made all the difference for this USA squad. And right next to her, Bethany Zumo. She's just said, I'm going to try not to cry, and then burst into tears. <laughs> Lexi Shiflett Patterson in her third Paralympic Games. Katie Holloway Bridge, the 38 year old, in her fifth games. The top point scorer in the whole competition, Heather Erickson. What an incredible talent. Heather had 96 points in this competition. 74 of those were kills. She was absolutely unstoppable. Led by Mo Matthews, who wore the number seven. Whitney Doster in her second Paralympic Games. Tia Edwards had a crucial Tia game Edwards. to play in the, in the semi-final to bring USA here. Sydney Satchel. <laughs> well, she stands on the sideline and she's one of the, motiv the most motivated people you'll see cheering her team on. Emma Sheik, eight aces for her in the game against France. Haleo. Hanahele, the setter, the playmaker. What a game she had. And Nikki Nieves back here. Nikki called this her redemption games, and oh boy, was it. She was a huge scorer. She was a big playmaker for the USA. Well, there's the support staff, Bill Hamilton, and the squad. I mean, you can see how much this means to not only the players, but the coaches as well. It's a really, really emotional moment. A lot of pressure on this team to perform, to get a three-peat. They're now tied with China in a number of gold medals. And you can see just how proud they are. Well, you know better than anybody what it's like to be on the podium and what these players will be feeling as the end of a tournament comes for all three of these teams. Talk us through the emotions that they're going to be experiencing. Oh, gosh, it's one thing after another. It's. I think initially when that match ends and you come out victorious, it's a huge sense of relief. You've accomplished what you've been working for years. I mean, these women, their whole lives revolve around this sport, and this is the pinnacle moment for them. Gentlemen, it's the United States of America. They're the gold medalists. They're the Paralympic champions for three Paralympic Games in a row. Mesdames et messieurs, si vous le pouvez, veuillez vous lever pour l'hymne des États-Unis d'Amérique. We'll now stand and have a pause for a moment for the national anthem of the champions, United States of America.
<laughs> love that celebration. Laura Webster, well, Bethy Zimmer did it. She didn't cry. She just about made it. I think we're coming close as well. It's just so emotional. You're not even down there, but you can just feel the absolute elation, the joy, the victory that these women are feeling right now, not just on the USA squad, but Canada, the People's Republic of China. This is a huge moment for all 36 of these women. Well, the Paralympic champions have done it. They had to come back. They lost to China in the pool stages and then had to come fighting back. And they got pushed all the way against the People's Republic of China and Canada. Let's recap then. Canada take bronze for the first time in Paralympic history. The People's Republic of China take silver and your Paralympic champions and gold medalists, as Kendra said, the third time in a row, it's the United States of America where we get to cue now all the medal biting, the poses and the selfie time as these teams now celebrate their hard work for the last three to four years. Some will already be thinking about LA28. Some will be thinking about the next two hours. Yeah, I think we need to give the athletes a few days to enjoy their victory and their results today. They have a lot of time left to plan for, for LA 2028. Let's give them a few days, soak this up and really enjoy it. But no doubt those plans will start soon. Well, it's going to take a while to wipe that smile off your face as well, isn't it? Hey? I'm overjoyed for all of them, not just the USA. I mean, Canada getting on the podium for the first time, that's a huge accomplishment. And there will not be anybody in this house more excited than them. The People's Republic of China, it's so hard to come off of a loss, but they'll definitely still be so proud of everything that they've accomplished. The USA put up an amazing fight. China forced them to play like that because of the game that they were bringing as well. I mean, what a treat to sit here in the North Paris Arena and watch that battle take place. Well, it's been an honor and a privilege. And just seeing the celebrations, now the coach staff, coaching staff get to come down and have some time in the limelight as well, because they're almost the unsung heroes. What happens behind the scenes is the players on the court that get the limelight. But now it's quite rightly so. All the coaching staff from all three of the nations are courtside having their pictures taken with the presentation party still with the gold medalists. And this is a party that Team USA are going to enjoy back at Team USA house, no doubt, tonight. They'll be smiling. They came here with one thing in mind, the three-peat. And USA did it. Scenes here, courtside on the North Paris Arena are your medalists in the sitting volleyball competition. Canada, the Republic, People's Republic of China, and the United States of America.
We'll see you in LA. Goodbye.